Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Town. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed. Uh, now, those of you who've been following me will know that I've got two sets of solar panels on my roof. I recently installed my new panels about two months ago, and just this week, because I've got micro inverters, Enphase informed me that I finally have panel level monitoring on my solar panels, which really excited me because I'm an energy nerd, but I finally got to see how well they were performing on a panel level. But also, more importantly, I got to see how well my old panels were performing after six years. So here's a snapshot of my panels uh, with the le panel level monitoring on there. You can see that I took this shot on the 7th of May, which was actually the last kind of uh, really good day of sunshine we had this month, where it was just clear blue skies all day. Um, you can see that the panels overall, old and new, produced 38.81 kilowatt hours. There's the shape of the uh, graph below. Uh, as you can see, pure, unadulterated sunshine all day, 21 degrees, perfect autumn day, really. Uh, there you see my old panels there, um, obviously with no panel level monitoring. Uh, LG monocrystalline panels installed in 2013, 255 watts per panels, uh, with a total of 3.06 kilowatts all up. There are my new panels, uh, Trina panels, 300 watts, 5.4 kilowatts overall, 2019 installation. So there's the difference between the two. So with that ratio in mind, I did a pie chart just outlining the difference between the two of them. So uh, you'd expect a 36 to 64% ratio between uh, the LG old panels and the new Trina panels. So I went back and added up all the um, panels on the 7th of May for my new panels and then I minus that figure from the total production for that day. So on the left you'll see the original ratio I calculated 36%, 64% between the old and the new panels and then I put the uh, the 7th of May production on a, in a pie chart as well and you can see that it's actually within 1% of error. So old panels 13.56 kilowatt hours versus the new panels producing 25.25 kilowatt hours in a 35 to 65% ratio. So I'm pretty happy that after six years, my uh, LG panels are actually keeping up and haven't really degraded very much at all and within 1% of error of what you'd expect between the two um, two ratios between all the new panels. So that's pretty good. Um, that's some, some indication that solar panels do last the distance. I know it's only six years, but still there's been actually very minimal degradation in quality and performance in that time. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will do some more videos on my panel level monitoring in uh, days to come. Uh, but that's really good news from uh, my panel point of view. It's um, keeping up with performance. And also, I'm very happy that, um, that Enphase have finally released panel level monitoring for my new Trina panels. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching, and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging!